Are you struggling with the CPA exam because your course failed to fit your learning style? I'm Darius Clark of I-75 CPA Review, where the right teacher makes all the difference. If you were going to get a SIM on asset retirement obligations, I bet it would look a lot like this. With asset retirement obligations, the company buys a long-lived asset. but And the asset is not just a piece of equipment or a truck that they could sell when they're all done with it. Instead, it's a long-lived tangible asset that incurs significant costs at the end of its productive life. So it's a hot mess. It's productive while it's in use, but costly to clean up. So here's our facts. Gateway Corp opened a mine on January 2nd, year one, with a capitalized cost of $8 million. The mine has a five-year estimated useful life. After the $8 million was accounted for in the general ledger, Gateway determined the costs associated with closing the mine using probability weighted estimates as follows. So they tell us the 8 million's already been debited to the asset and the credit would likely be to cash. And now comes the estimate of the cleanup costs. And these costs have to be capitalized at inception along with the 8 million, but it hasn't been accounted for yet. That's our job in this sim. And they don't just tell us what the costs are going to likely be. Instead, we're given a probability weighted estimate. We use what's called sometimes scenario analysis to describe what we're about to do. They tell us there's a 25% probability that the costs to close and reclaim the land is going to be 400,000. So with a 25% probability, that comes out to an expected cash outflow of $100,000. Then they say there's a 45% chance that it's going to cost as much as 600,000, which comes out to 270,000 for an expected cash outflow. And then a 30% chance that it's going to cost 800,000, which equals 240,000 of expected cash outflow. And we would sum the totals and get 610,000 for our total expected cash outflow using probability weighted estimates. They tell us the rate of return is 8%. And in addition, Gateway expects 1% inflation over the five-year period of operating the mine and assume straight line depletion. Question one wants to know, calculate the amount of asset retirement obligation to capitalize on January 2nd, year one. And while I'd love to tell you the answer is 610,000, not quite yet. While 610,000 will help us get to the answer, we're going to have to factor in inflation and we're gonna to have to use present value. The inflation is gonna actually make us use future value, but then we're gonna to have to discount it all back using present value because we need to make the journal entry now in year one. All right, so let's start with the 610,000 we calculated using probability weighted estimates. Now, what are we gonna do with that 610,000? Well, right away, there's an effect of inflation they told us. And inflation is going to be 1% a year for the next five years. So from the future value tables, you would factor in 1%, five periods, and that's 1.051. And you'd multiply that times 610,000 because due to inflation, that 610,000 five years from now is really going to be more like 641,110 because we're not paying this money now to clean up the site. We're going to pay it five years from now, and that's what we're really going to pay if we expect inflation. So we're not going to pay this money now, but we have to account for it now. And that's why we next go to present value tables using the 8% cost of capital that they tell us about. And the five-year period, we get from the present value tables, present value of one single payment, 0.6806. And we'll take 0 0.6806 and multiply by 641.110. And look what we have. The present value of the cost to close the mine and reclaim the land, 436339 So that would be the answer to question one. Calculate the amount of asset retirement obligation to capitalize on January 2nd, year one, 436339
Took us a couple of steps to get there, so make sure you understand the steps. First, we had to use the probability weighted estimates. Then we took that total expected cash outflow and factored in inflation using future value because the value five years from now will be higher than today's value if you're factoring in inflation. So then we got the 641.110 and then we said we have to account for that cost today. We expect to spend 641,110 five years from now. What's all that worth today at 8%? And it's only worth 436,339. All right, same facts for number two. Gateway Corp opened a mine on January 2nd, year one, with a capitalized cost of 8 million. The mine has a five year estimated useful life. After the 8 million was accounted for in the general ledger, Gateway determined the cost associated with closing the mine using probability weighted estimates. And we said that that came out to 436,339. Prepare the journal entry to record the asset retirement obligation on one, two, one. And what we do right away on January 2nd, year one, is we debit the asset for another 436,339 and we credit asset retirement obligation, a liability. Note that the capitalized cost now is 8,436,339. The original 8 million plus the 436,339, the costs that we estimated for closing the mine. So all 8,436,339 has now been capitalized to that asset account. And right now the asset retirement obligation is sitting at 436,339. Question number three is gonna ask us to prepare the journal entry at 1231 year one for depletion. How much are we gonna deplete? Is it just the 8 million original amount or the total of 8,436,339? And if you think you know, Leave me your answer in the comments section. And then don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps the channel out a lot. And if you're struggling to pass the CPA FAR exam, go to cpaexamtutoring.com and get yourself on I-75 where the right teacher makes all the difference.